Jésus-Nom. Okay, so this lick here is based out of F major. This is our pentatonic shape we're playing out of for most of this whole solo. He gets out a little bit, but that's primarily where we're at. So we start out in the 12th fret D string, then 10th fret G, 12th fret G, G string, but we hit it twice and slide up to 14. So we got 12, 10, 12, 12, slide to 14. That's how it kicks off. Then we play our middle finger on the 13th fret B string. And then we slide 14 back to 12 on G. Then play 10. Then 12 on D. So, so far we got. And then to finish that last little part off, we go 10. Play 10 again and hammer on a 12. So the first part of this lick so far is this. So up a little bit quicker. It's really tasteful. And try to play with a lot of feel and soul. And then after that. We do the exact same thing for the second part, but we end it a little bit differently. So we play the first little half of the first part again, if that makes sense. And then it changes after this. So here's the second part, real slow. Then we play 10 twice on the G string, then 12 on D, 10 on D. So here's the entire thing really slow. There's the first half, here's the second half. Now here's it a little bit quicker. That's the entirety of the lick. And off to lick two. Okay, this next part's really cool because it's actually a 16th note, but it's a sequence of three. So we'll get to that in a second, but first of all, let's get the notes right. So if we go to the eighth fret, B string with our pointer finger and hammer on, to the 9th fret with our middle finger, and then we play the 10th fret high E string with our ring. You can also play the exact same lick this way right here. If you go to the G string, 12th fret, hammer on to 13, and keep the 10 on the high E. Whatever's most comfortable for you. I think he plays it down here. But um, the whole point of this to begin, to begin with is it breaks up the solo. It's really dissonant. Everything to this point has been very in the pocket and um, harmonically correct. And so what this does is it's kind of a funky lick that pulls the audience in. So that's the whole point of this. That's what he's trying to do. So he's, he's painting a picture with his solo throughout the whole song. And what's cool about this lick in particular though is the 16th note. So if, you're, if your tempo is here, 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a... But he's doing it in threes. So...
So it, it has this kind of like falling back on itself in a repetitive motion rhythmic thing going on, which is also really cool. Plus the notes are dissonant, it's brilliant. <laughs> Okay, so this one's kind of cool. Um, it's thematic, meaning it repeats itself. So you can get it stuck in your ear. You can actually sing this melody. So you start out with your pointer finger on 10, high E string, 12, 13, slide up to 15. Then you play 13, 12, 10, 13. That's the part that keeps repeating. Then we finish it with 11th fret B string. Then we play the same part. 10 B string this time, so we change the ending note, one note. Then play 11 again. So it repeats itself three times, but the only notes that are changing are between 11 and 10 on the B string. So here's the first half. First one. Second one on 10. And then we have this cool major scale run. We go 10, high E string, B string, 11, 10, G string, 12, 10, 9, D string, 12. Then you go 9 on G, 10 on G, 12 on G. On B string, 10, 11, 10, 12 on G, finish, 10 on G. So that a whole run played slow is... So all together played at a moderate tempo is Okay, off to the next lick. So on this one here, what's cool about this is that ending. So we'll get to that in a second. But um, we start out in the 12th fret, D string, 10 on G, 12 on G, bend up to 14. Then come back down to 12, 10, 12 on D, 10 on um, G string, finish on 12. So, so far, real slow, that's... So after that, we do the same thing, but we finish it a little differently. We go 12, 10, 12, bend up, 12, 10, 12 on D. Now we finish it like this, we double that 10, and then double D, finish on the 10th fret D string. So, so far that second part. So now the first part with the second part sounds like this. Okay, now after that we can kick it off the same way. Bend up, 12, and now here we go to octaves. We switch, we're gonna put our pinky finger on F on the 13th fret high E string and F on the G string, 10th fret and then we slide them back a half step alternating, hitting it twice each time. And I'm kind of muting the B string with the meat on my pointer finger, so you're not hearing, you're just getting that. So it goes. So all together, we got. Repeat it for a while, for a while but you know. 
Do it to whatever feels most natural for you. And then, you know, play with intensity like you mean it. That's the main thing, is owning every single note he's playing. So here we got some really fast stuff at the beginning, but let's get the notes right first. So you got 10 on the G string, pulling with your middle finger, pulling off to your pointer finger on nine. And I just keep my pinky finger down here on 12 on the D string. So that's your pattern, it does that four times. And after you hit that, you climb up, nine, 10, 12, end on your major third in the key of F, which would be A on your B string. And then you repeat the same little intro lick twice. And then you go 9, 10, 12, 10. And then you descend an A minor triad, which is gonna be 9 on the G string, 10 on D, 12 on A. So, so far the first part Second part. Okay, now our third part, we do the same little lick twice. Nine, and then we play 12 with our pinky. It's kind of tricky here, the fingering. And we slide our pinky up, then we hit it again and slide up to the 14th fret. And then I grab my middle finger on the 13th fret B string. So, so far, that little bitty part there, that third part. And that puts me in a position to play this last part, which is now our, our middle finger is resting on 13 B string. We play 12 on G, hammer on to 14. Hit that 13, and repeat that. So that third part all together. Okay, now here's the first, second, and third part all play together pretty slow. sit there with the metronome and try to work it up faster and faster until you get up to speed with him. Which I think the BPM of the song is around like 90 or 93, somewhere in there. So thanks for watching, couple jam all the way.